But there's a couple of elements that go into making a great story. And that is what really has made those Pixar films not only the highest grossing movies, but also ones that people love and the critics love. Beyond the animation and the, the, the voices and the music, it was always the story. And that's, that's a belief I still hold today while I, I work with Netflix on films and, and I work with other companies like, um, you know, uh, in the business world. It's the story that holds it together. But you know, there are two elements that have kept showing up in storytelling for thousands of years. It doesn't make a difference what culture. It doesn't make a difference if the people have ever communicated with each other. There's one thing that has constantly showed up in storytelling, a hero and a journey. It's, it is bizarre, but you will see it show up in the oldest stories ever told. From, from Gilgamesh to the stories in the Old Testament, you will see that there's always a hero on a journey, you know? Pixar just replaced Gilgamesh with Woody, you know? But it's a hero on a journey, and, and this applies for movies, TVs, books. It's universal. But the reason why we love a hero so much in a story is because we all see ourselves as heroes on our own journey. It's part of our human psyche that we see ourselves as a hero. It's like the Truman Show, right? Jim Carrey, you think you, everybody here is an actor or an actress in your TV show. And so when we have a hero in a story, we put ourselves in the shoes of the hero and we go through what they go through. It's called neurocoupling, okay? When you you connect with the character on the screen or the person who's, who's, who's sharing a story. Heroes impact our emotions. We see this all the time in movies, like I don't want to bring back any you know, sore feelings or anything, but remember the, the movie Up, and you see the little boy, he's just a kid, he meets that little girl, and then they grow up and fall in love, and they get married, and they build a house, and and they want to have kids, and we're feeling good, you know? That's a, you know, a happy part in the story. But then we see they can't have any kids. If you haven't watched the movie up, it's too late, okay? There's no <laughs> spoiler alerts I'm going to give here, okay? And then we see they can't have kids, and then the roller coaster ride goes down a little bit. But then we see that they're, they're going to go on an adventure to South America instead. They're going to turn this, like, sad moment in their life around, and they're, they're going to go on an adventure. And then we're feeling good again. The roller coaster goes up. But then we see they can't save up any money. And we see the years go by. And we see them in their 40s and their 50s and 60s and 70s. And we think to ourselves, are they ever going to go on this trip? And then you see the man now, he's old, our hero. He buys those tickets to South America. He puts them in a picnic basket. And he's going to give them to his wife. They're going to go to South America. They're going to go to Paradise Falls. And then she collapses. And then we see they're in a hospital. And then the last image of the beginning of this film is the man at his wife's funeral. This is also a kid's film, okay? <laughs> so it's for everybody. But you know what it does when you have a hero go through a journey like that? With ups and downs, with tension and release? No matter how bad you need to go pee at this point, you don't care. You are going to sit and watch what's going to happen to this old man. It doesn't make a difference how hungry you are. If your kids are crying in the other room, you're like, I don't care. I'm watching what's going to happen. Because a hero on a journey will impact your emotions. And all of a sudden, even if it's a cartoon on a screen, you are so invested. And isn't that what we want? when we do go to a keynote presentation or we're going to make a pitch, don't we want people to sit on the edge of their seats? And this up and down, this high and lows, this is what the, the best business leaders do. Watch TED Talks, same thing, this up and down, tension and release. So Steve Jobs would do the same thing. He'd come out on stage with a high and he'd say, I've been working on something that has been the most inspiring thing I've ever worked on at Apple, ever. 
we have made a phone. We have made a smartphone. But immediately, he takes the roller coaster and goes down to keep you sitting on the edge of your seat and says, but there's already smartphones out there. You can go to Radio Shack today, you can buy one, and it's crap. It's not smart at all. <laughs> the best sales pitches are the ones where you share how I can change the world, and then you share how the ordinary world is and how the ordinary world of that product or that industry is not so great. And now you're going to tell people how you're going to make it great. And that's when Steve proceeded in his presentation to share that you're going to be able to go on the internet on his phone. Remember, this was brand new. And then he shares how hard it is to operate those smartphones out there. Stylus pen, they look awful. Then he shared multi-touch. Swipe your finger. And then one more, because story works great in threes, by the way. Then he shares one more where he shares how hard it is to put applications on these devices. And then he shares the world of apps. He keeps you sitting on the edge of your seat. People don't want to hear a story that's just all happy, 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 or sad, sad, sad. They want to have both those flavors that take them up and down. And when you end up triggering those emotions in people, that's what makes people want to buy things, you know? We are driven, our decision-making is driven by a, a great story, which can be a pitch. Later on, we rationalize it. Does the product work? But our first decision-making is made with that side of our brain that's all about impacting the emotions. So, those emotions that, you know, the best film companies and the best brands use. There is a science to this, okay? And whenever you have that happy moment, two people falling in love, right? I've made something at Apple that's going to be the, the, the thing I'm most proud about. Or in La La Land, are we going to be, are we going to make it big in Hollywood? Whenever you have this type of moment in a story, it releases dopamine, right? Dopamine is released when there's anticipation and uncertainty. What's Steve going to tell us, right, about this phone? Or what's going to happen to this couple that can't have a kid? And dopamine is what ends up increasing our focus. It makes us remember things better. It makes us bond with the hero on the screen or the presenter. But you remember, you need to have the highs and lows. This is great, the anticipation of what's going to be in that box. And it releases a little bit of dopamine. And it makes you more focused. It makes the ad more memorable. And then there's the down moments. Those moments in films like the end of La La Land that crushed me. If you haven't seen it, it's too late, okay? <laughs> it's somber, it's sad, and it releases oxytocin. Now, oxytocin is a very powerful chemical in storytelling. That's the chemical that makes you have empathy for characters, complete strangers, the person on the street that's asking for money or the nonprofit organization. If you release that oxytocin, you're going to make people feel more generous, they're going to trust you, and it works, you know? The best companies out there know when to release oxytocin and when to release dopamine and how to go back and forth to do that roller coaster ride. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure people laugh, right? And when you go through the beginning of the movie up, we still sprinkled it with funny moments, okay? In La La Land, there's still funny moments that are happening in that. And what endorphins do? is endorphins make us feel more creative. They make us feel more at ease. They make us feel more focused. So if you were going to get together with your, your team, right, and you wanted to pe make people feel more creative and be more productive, release some endorphins. 